Hello, everyone. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the weekend of April 12th through April 14th. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, you can go ahead, ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Yes. Um, so I'm just going to throw this out there. I am planning on doing a twin flame reading this weekend. Um, if you guys have been following, which many of you have been, you've seen the progression over the last, uh, I'll say two weeks of spirit pulling me back towards twin flame readings through soulmate situations. And I've been having dreams myself consistently for the last two nights I've had dreams. And so... That right there is more confirmation that I should do a Twin Flame reading soon. So I'm going to do that this weekend. It'll be out on Sunday. Um, also, bowling starts on Sunday. Look, look, see, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my bowling shirt. Hee <laughs> hee, Big Apple Bowling. Woo! Um, and that starts on Sunday. And so um, the video is going to be posted fairly early because I'm bowling at 3.15. So, Yeah. Look out for that. <laughs> okay? Excellent. So without further ado, let's just get on into it. Um, this is a general reading. This is not specific to anything, love, sign, career, whatnot, whatever. This is literally just what spirit wants to discuss with us at this moment in time. Keep in, also keep in mind that these messages are timeless. Yes, there is no time stamp. There is no expiration date, even though it's coming through at this specific weekend or this specific date it doesn't mean it just it has to be for this weekend these are timeless messages all righty okie dokie so let's just go ahead and get started here guys hi spirit please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the weekend of Friday, April 12th through Sunday, April 14th. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Let's get into it. So tax day is coming. I hope everybody has got their taxes done. If you don't have your taxes done, I so so I am so sorry. I do not mean to stress you out, but the 14th is almost here. So <laughs> anyway, all right, here we go, guys. Or is it the 15th? It's the 14th this year, I think. I'm not sure, whatever, it doesn't matter. Get your taxes done. <laughs> All right, weekend edition, April 12th through April 14th. I'm seeing green, guys. All right. Interesting. And this, like, it's like this cosmic blue. It's like a weird, it's, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, but, all right. I mean, green denotes the heart chakra. Um... It also speaks about healing. There's cosmic healing happening. Um, it's almost as if at this point or as at this juncture in the journey, the universe is stepping in way more in order to, I guess you could say, mm. Excuse me, I guess you could say influence, but it's not even influence. It's just, it's more like assistance because we all retain our right towards free will, okay? So it's not really influence, it's more assistance. Assisting us with the directions that we've chosen to move in, with the challenges we've chosen to undertake. Okay. Cosmic influence, strong cosmic influence. 
in accordance with free will is what they're saying, all right? All righty, guys. Let's see what we have for your weekend edition here. Friday, April 12th through Sunday. There's that justice card again. Wow. Through Sunday, April 14th. Friday, April 12th through Sunday, April 14th, y'all. Interesting. Okie dokie. Oh, wow, there's more. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. We're good. All right, underneath the deck, we, ooh, we've got the tower. We've got the tower, y'all. Um... Okay, I don't want to say too much about this until I see what else is going on here. All right, so we're starting with the tower. We've got strength, page of pentacles, seven of wands, and eight of pentacles. Underneath that, we have the two of swords with the ace of wands, and then we have two cards that fell face down. Yep, justice, oh, and the king of wands again. Oh boy. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a twin flame reading this weekend. No doubt about it. Uh, we're talking about the masculine again here. Um, and to be quite honest, this really could now, we'll talk about it when we get there, but you can absolutely look at this, just like when I do my Twin Flame readings, you can definitely look at this as either an external masculine energy or someone that embodies masculine energy in an external, an external to you, or you can see this as your own inner masculine energy. Spirit, Spirit is wanting me to point that out because it is, in fact, still relevant to our situations, okay? All right, well, I'm not really sure how to read this. I'm not, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you because obviously we have a tower moment here, all right? That's quite obvious. We also have the masculine in the king of wands, okay? This could be the divine masculine in 3D physical form, okay? In human form. Or you could just say 3D physical form, their species or race, the race of being doesn't matter. Three, three dimensional form, regardless of what that is. Three dimensions, the third dimension is the third dimension, regardless of whatever planet, star system, universe, whatever you find yourself in. The third dimension is the third dimension, just like the fourth and fifth dimensions are the fourth and fifth dimensions. And the sixth is the sixth, you know, you get, we get it. Okay, great. There is a big shakeup happening. A big shakeup happening. Strength is here, all right? Now, this is why I'm saying I can't tell. I don't, I'm not exactly sure how to read this. Because from a masculine point of view, this could really mean ego and pride. At least from the masculine point of view that we currently have in today's society. Our society is built on a patriarchal system that emboldens or um, that condones egoic, prideful actions, even narcissism to an extent. Strength can speak to narcissism, narcissism although narc the, narciss the narcissist card is mostly viewed as the sun in that, in terms of like the major arcana here. Um, but the, 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 the core message in strength, the lesson in strength is learning to tame the beast, right? So then that leads us to the page of pentacles, which is a new start, which is learning seeking, understanding, training, uh, the apprentice, apprenticeship, um, 
Okay, so coupled with then the seven and the seven of wands and eight of pentacles, I really feel like on a grand scale, on a massive scale, the tower is a situation in which someone is, I guess, in a sense, becoming humbled. How do I come to that conclusion? You also have justice down here. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Because you have the Ace of Wands, you have the Justice, you have the King of Wands. Okay, so with the King of Wands, we have an idea of who or what type of who we are or what type of energy we would be talking about here. Okay, and that King of Wands can be a very prideful, egotistical, egoic, narcissistic individual. Very much so. Okay. We have justice here, which means there's some sort of balancing. There's a karmic balance that's happening. Okay. And then you have the Ace of Wands, which is uh, a new, I'm hearing a victory, a new victory, but like a new direction to go in, new inspiration. Um, this feels like an energy of understanding oneself on a deeper level understanding the circumstances around you on a deeper level, having some sort of new point of view, new perspective, and, and following that up with a new creative direction, some sort of new creative passion, wanting to start a new creative project, but not whatever. The tricky part, the problem is you have the two of swords in front of that. So, and that's where it kind of can, where strength, which is right above the two of swords, can also kind of get into a situation where it's like, well, someone's egoic and prideful and is refusing to see something, refusing to see some sort of solution, option. But then at the same time, the Two of Swords has been, this week at least, um, has been talking about to mental balance. Which so I'm, <sighs> excuse me. Um, so I'm really having to like double check that I'm reading this correctly because I don't want to, I don't want to like project or anything. Because everything, everything here is, at, is lining up to, someone is really going through a big shift. A big shift. I do feel like there is a little bit of resistance. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like there is a little bit of resistance. But someone is doing some work, is really doing some work. And I'm really seeing, with this Seven of Wands energy, I'm really seeing someone putting up boundaries, really placing boundaries. And then with this Eight of Pentacles, it's as if they're going within, like they're creating a fortress for themselves. And then they're going within and they're doing the hard work to balance out the scales here. Okay, so, okay. So then the Two of Swords energy that's here, it's actually not, it's, it's not so much indecisive. It's more like, it's almost as if they're not trying to take, uh, take in any new information. Because they're working with what they have so far. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Also, the Page of Pentacles lately has been talking about a level up, okay? Has been speaking to um, a new level reached and having to find your footing. And I definitely feel like that's what's happening here for some masculine energies or maybe even for the masculinity within you from the perspective of the masculine energy within you. Um, there's quite a bit of balancing this Ace of Wands. It's 
it almost, this Ace of Wands almost feels like a sort of enlightenment. Okay, so there are some masculine energies out there or whatever that are really going through some rough shit. It's almost as if their egos are being broken down at this point. And here's a thing about the ego. It's not evil. It's not bad. It's not meant to be destroyed. It's not meant to be eradicated. It's meant to be balanced. The problem with that that has arisen within our society is that our egos have gone astray have been allowed to run amok and now they're in control of everything and it's creating chaos well more chaos than there would be you know in the typical universe but you get what i'm saying it's creating struggle drama problems so it's not about eradicating the ego it's not about destroying the ego it's not about breaking the ego. It's about balancing the ego. And yes, that that, that can be painful. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy. Okay, so we've got some flyers already, guys. Uh, good golly, Miss Molly. <sighs> All right, so we have the... So I'm getting into the clarification section. <laughs> we have the Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles so far. I'm just going to read these and I'm going to put them back in. Um, underneath the deck you have the King of Cups and then you also have the Page of Cups underneath that. Well, well, on the other side of that, okay? So Page of Cups is reconciliatory energy. King of Cups is emotional maturity taking responsibility for one's actions. And yeah, that's really what's going on here. This is the, the ego coming into, being, coming into check, it being, you know, being balanced. Um, the, King of, the King of Cups is an energy of, and I'm using the Epic Tarot today, but the King of Cups is an energy of taking emotional responsibility, taking responsibility for your life and where you, you know, where you find yourself, the actions you've taken. Five of, I'm sorry, the Knight of, I'm sorry, the Page of Cups is reconciliation. Wanting to apologize. I'm hearing wanting to say I'm sorry. But then you have the Two of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. Now here is where, now the Two of Swords has already come out again. We're gonna put these back and I'm gonna shuffle again. But the Two of Swords here is the indecisive energy, is the energy of um, not wanting to show emotion, putting on a brave face. Um, someone's hiding the fact that they feel left out in the cold, they feel rejected, Five of Pentacles. This may be overall or this may be really specific i don't know but someone is hiding the fact that they feel rejected they feel la lack la or lack less than that kind of thing but at this point couldn't you just say that you know you're getting a taste of your own medicine at this point especially if we're talking about a really prideful egoic self-centered narcissistic masculine figure or masculine energy or ent uh, a, a person that resonates more with masculinity. Ooh, okay, and now the Ace of Swords is wanting to come out. Well, DG, I think I'm pretty sure whoever we're talking about here, they know full well. Um, and I really do think that's what this tower energy is. Uh, someone is aware of their own actions. Six of Pentacles wanted to pop out there. Um, they're aware of how unbalanced the situations have been and this could be an overarching theme. This doesn't have to be just with you or someone specific and to be quite honest, I would say it's probably best to assume that this is a major overarching cycle. However, you, as in the viewer, I guess you could say, come into play 
because you are, in a sense, helping break them out of it from your involvement with each other. It's like you were the catalyst to help them kind of wake up. And I guess you could say it's indirectly because at this point, most of us that would be in this type of situation have walked away or have removed ourselves from the situation, have ceased all forms of contact. And so it's really your absence that is playing the greatest part here. Okay. Not to say that you aren't the only one or that you are the only one that I guess has, I guess you could call this ghosted and it's not really ghosting. Um, what is it? Has just like left the situation, completely cut off all contact. You're, I wouldn't say you're the only one, but this, but spirit is saying you're the strongest one. Your involvement here has been the strongest catalyst. Okay. I mean, take that as it resonates. You could also take it with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't pat yourself on the back too much. You know, this is what we all came here for. It's nothing special. <laughs> okay. It's really nothing special. All right. What I want to start with clarifying further, I want to start with the King of Wands down here. King of Wands, Justice, Ace of Wands, Two of Swords. Okay, so there's a balancing of the scales. Spirit keeps saying karma. So karma is being balanced here in this situation, um, which is leading to some sort of inspiration. But I do feel like there's an indecisiveness about that inspiration, while at the same time, there's like a balanced energy, especially with the Justice here. There's a balanced mental energy here. Someone is not trying to take in any new information, not trying to, you know, see anything else, but they're also trying, they're also indecisive about how to move forward with this inspiration that is brought on by the justice, the balancing of justice here. And I think, and it's looking at, as I'm looking at this King of Wands energy, it's like all the while full, fully knowing who they have been in the past and what detriment that may have brought to the situation, okay? Because for some reason, this King of Wands looks pretty remorseful at the moment. I don't know, maybe that's just the energy that I'm picking up from it, but. All right, so let's get some clarity here for this bottom row. Two of Swords, Ace of Wands, Justice, and the King of Wands. Please, Spirit. Let's get some clarification here, please. Oof. Okay, well, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, y'all. Okay, check it out. So, the lovers has fallen on the Ace of Wands here. Seven of Cups has fallen on Justice. All right, we have two or at least two other cards that have flipped over. And they're pretty interesting. Yep, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. We've got... Where is it? What is it? Where is it? We've got the Emperor. And um, I was thinking about that yesterday. When I was doing the reading yesterday... Um, and the King of Wands came out and I was saying, you can't just like show up here in all your fiery, you know, 3D-ness, like woman, give me what you have. Like, no, you have to grow up and you have to show up. And I meant to say, instead of just showing up as the King of Wands, and this is why I was explaining the King, I see the divine masculine as the King of Wands in physical form and the divine feminine in physical form as the Queen of Wands, right? In spiritual form, they would be, well, in the the higher, in the major arcana, they would be represented as the emperor and the empress, okay? And instead of just showing up as a king of wands, you would really, masculine energies or divine masculine, whatever, you would really need to show up as the emperor. And that's what we have here, okay? 
the emperor with the ten of pentacles in the sense that you know first of all um definitely looking long term okay long term goals uh maybe pretty family oriented to a certain extent but this is also still about financial stability financial security um, material possessions, things like that, but it's also energies of the long haul. And also, it's energies of learning a lesson, because as you, if for those of you that have been following, the Ten of Pentacles really has been about lessons learned recently, okay? Underneath the deck, you have the High Priestess. Deep, deep insights, very strong learning here, okay? Secrets of the Universe Revealed. Then, on the Two of Swords, you have the Fool with the Four of Swords. Now, this is exactly what I was picking up on. There is a new beginning. There is a new start happening, okay? Um, there, there is a new start that's desired here. But with this Two of Swords energy, there's a little bit of decisiveness, but not really because... Uh, I'm sorry, there's a little bit of indecisiveness, but not really because you have someone that definitely has made a decision here, okay? But th with the Ace of Wands, they've chosen a path or they they have some inspiration. Now, there is a decision to be made or it has been made. I do feel like for the most part, well, okay, no. No, there's a, still, there's a decision to be made with the lovers. Okay. Okay, wait. You see, it keeps going back and forth. It kind of it kind of has been made, all right? The lovers here is talking about a divine connection. Okay? A spirit can uh 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 Oh god. Um I can't remember the phrase I'm looking for. Divine partnership, whatever, twin flame, whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? Um, but this is a deep, this is a deep, you know, spiritual connection, divine connection here. And there's inspiration towards it again, okay? The, the, the fire may have been sparked. Something's been ignited again. But what's happening here is with this justice energy, someone or maybe both parties on their own sides are weeding through the muck are going through all of the stuff, all of the illusions, all of the options, all of the different things that may have happened, are going through it and and coming to terms with it on their own terms, okay? On their own sides, in their own corners. This is not something that's happening together. It's happening on an individual basis. But because of that, that's kind of why we have this Two of Swords energy um, clarified by the fool with the four of swords. There's still rest that's needed. There's still um, diff a change in perception, a new way of seeing the circumstance. The only way that can happen is if all of the shit from the past is dealt with. And I mean all of it. You can't you can't go into this new beginning here or this new cycle with the fool holding any sort of old baggage from the past if that makes sense. So if you are watching this right now and I'm speaking to a masculine counterpart or a divine partner, a twin flame, whatever, that and this is resonating resonating with you you feel that they're going through this please keep in mind that you have your own work to, to do as well this is definitely in no way absolutely zero percent chance of this being a situation where you sit back on your ass and you watch them flounder around with this tower moment hell no honey boo boo chow you've got your own work to do okay let's just like keep let's just keep that clear all right I love you all, but don't think that all of this rests on the shoulders of the masculine, because it doesn't. We are equal partners here, masculine and feminine. The feminine is just as responsible in many cases as the masculine is, all right? So keep that in mind, <laughs> all right? But there's really some very deep learning here that's happening with the High Priestess. And you remember the High Priestess came out, I think it was Wednesday. She came out in reverse and she was not talking. She absolutely was not talking. Well, it looks like someone is finally deciding to grow up and show up to move from the King of Wands energy to the Emperor energy, okay? 
But with, but see, now that's tricky in and of itself because you have to learn to be an emperor and not be a tyrant. So you got to give people some time here to work through the shit, but there's definitely some deep learning happening. Okay, okay. So let's get up into this second or this top row here. Strength, page of pentacles, seven of wands, eight of pentacles. Okay. There's definitely an energy of taming the beast of, um, you know, it's also Leo energy is what I'm picking up on. And this is, there is a level of compassion that's coming through with strength. And I think that's kind of where I was getting twisted between, is this just ego or is this something more? Because there is a lesson in compassion here that's coming through with strength, which is t challenging to the ego, especially the twisted masculine ego um, that doesn't, or the, the, the ego from a twisted masculine point of view, because I don't want to just put this all on like men or masculine figures. Um, this could be within you if you are a feminine, if you're more of a feminine energy, you resonate more with femininity. Um, but from your masculine side, you have this emotionless put perspective. There is a level of compassion, a lesson in compassion that is coming through here. That could be also why with the seven of wands energy, someone is being pretty defensive, putting up the defenses, but it's also putting up boundaries in order to maintain the momentum that this tower moment is generating. I hope I'm making sense because I, I feel like I'm kind of bouncing all over the place, but I think you guys get it. All right, so let's get into this. Strength, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Just some clarification, please, Spirit. Okay. That's really good, actually. The Five of Wands came flying out, um, which is a good thing. Oof. Oh, boy, oh, boy. All right. Um... The five of wands came flying out, which is a good thing. And three of these cards that have landed have fallen between the seven of wands and the eight of pentacles. So what I really do feel like is happening here. We've got the two of cups. Um, what I really do feel is we have the, okay, these go over here. The five of cups. What I really do feel like is happening here with the seven of wands energy. Someone is really not even trying to hear anyone else's opinion because I really feel like it was the opinions of others that helped make this situation into such a shit show. Not even going to lie. It was the interpretations of others. It was the opinions and the advice of others. It was even um, society's point of view. You know what I mean? The masses that were creating some sort of conflict. Underneath the deck is the Page of Swords. Ah. I'm hearing seeking to understand, potentially watching you. I'm going to get into these in a second. We have the two of cups with the five of cups. All right. Someone is quite remorseful and is probably um, wrapped up in a whole bunch of shame right now because of what may have gone on in this relationship okay in this situation we have these three cards here wow the page of pentacles again death and the queen of wands yep so first and foremost someone is going through a transformation is moving to from a one state of being to another um is kind of really feeling like i guess the energy feels like you have to start over but you're not starting over okay you're not starting over because you're reaching a new level, a greater understanding, especially with that queen, with the, the high priestess energy that came out before. You're reaching a brand new understanding. So yes, you're reaching a new level and you're, oh, sorry guys. You're reaching a new level and you're having to find your footing again. But you're taking all of the experiences and the knowledge that you've gained, the wisdom that you gained from those experiences, you're taking all of that with you into this new level, this new state of being in order for you to do better or to have new experiences based on the lessons you learned in the past, okay? Now, you have also the rise of feminine energy within, but then you also have the counterpart here. You have the king. 
I just realized that. You have the King of Wands and you have the Queen of Wands. And if you look at it this way, they're looking right at each other. Like when you hold it like this, they're looking right at each other. So I, I'm also seeing um, the rise of feminine energy within this individual, which I really feel like is where that compassion is coming from. In the, the strength card, the lesson in compassion is influenced by the rise of feminine energy. You also have, you have two instances of mirroring here, you guys. Um, first, well, actually three, because first of all, the two of swords came out while I was doing the shuffling and it was a, a flyer. The page of pentacles has come out twice. You have the counterparts in the king and the queen of wands. And then you have the major and minor arcana versions of the lovers. So the Two of Cups is the love is the minor arcana version of the lovers here. Someone is inspired, is knows that there is a divine partnership here, okay? But that's on the spiritual level, okay? And there is some sort of inspiration towards making some sort of move, maybe even opening up communication with this page of swords, but then on a physical level. On a, you have regret and remorse for how the situation was handled. Two of Cups with the Five of Cups, all right? And that's a very strong lesson learned there. Okay. So. And you know what's so funny? Um, Aluna Ash... I know many of you guys follow her. I still follow her every once in a while. I, I watch her videos sometimes. I still, I, I do, I, I still do. But um, she just put out a twin flame message uh, about, the, about the masculine um, and I guess like karmic cycles or something. Um, I haven't watched it, but I wonder how much of it resonates with this. And I find it very interesting. We're definitely, so we're definitely channeling, because I always get kind of weird about this. It's like, I don't want to be projecting. I don't want to be just making this up. Like, I'm, I'm giving you what I'm picking up on. But I don't really have many masculine figures in my life that I can communicate with, about with this and say, oh, no, this really is what some of the masculines are going through. Um, so... And I would like that to change. Like I would like to balance that out and be able to communicate with this or communicate about this with masculine energy. So like hit me up. But um, I think Aluna and I are on the same wavelength. And I literally just thought about that. So I'm thinking maybe number one, I should watch that video now. But number two, um, if you haven't watched it, maybe you should watch it too because it might help you. It might bring some greater clarity into the situation for you. Okay. Getting into the oracle section here. The whispers of love have been staring me down. <laughs> so we're going to start with that. And then I'm going to close the reading with the crystal mandala deck, okay? All right. Let's see what we've got here. Oracle guidance, please, spirit. And I really want to say that this is, um, this is advice for the masculines, the masculines out there that are watching, maybe even advice with how to, you know, um, work with your own inner masculine energy if you're more of a feminine energy, but... This is really, this really, I really feel like this, the messages coming through here are definitely for the masculines. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got. Best message, please, spirit. Holy shit. Holy shit. All right. Underneath the deck is, yep, card number 15. 
Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. And that's exactly what was coming through with the strength card. There is a lesson in compassion here. Now, I'm gonna get I'm gonna do this first. You have card number 42. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. And that's the energy that you're experiencing here with this Four of Swords with the Fool, okay? Masculines, you're going through a situation in which you're about to embark on a brand new journey. You're starting a brand new cycle. This Tower moment really is like changing a lot of things for you. Four of Swords, you need to rest and recuperate and just allow this change in perspective to happen. And then there's this, card number 20. I love you. These are very important words. Now, you could say, you could see this as, um, you could see this as, you know, these are the words that you need to be saying to yourself. Okay, these absolutely are words that you need to be saying to yourself. You need to be loving yourself as much as you possibly can right now. And not in an egotistical, narcissistic way anymore, but like in a true, genuine way, in a compassionate way. But also, the feminine is coming through here and saying this too. I love you. <laughs> I love you, but you need to grow up is, <laughs> is what I just heard. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not meaning to offend anyone. I'm just giving you the messages that are coming through. I love you, but you need to grow up. Okay. And then finally, this, is, this was the oh shit moment. Because this is card number 38, which is which boils down to an 11. And it says, honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. And look at what that, that literally flew out of the deck and fell on the page of swords, which is an energy of truth, honesty, clear and concise communication, straight to the point, no, no, no beating around the bush, no fucking around, no putzing around, straight up truth and honesty. Like the Page of Swords is a young being, is a youthful, um, innocent, adolescent being. In the very beginning of our lives, we don't even know what it means to, to lie, really. I mean, there are some little kids that have learned to lie and blah, 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 but children, I mean, it's a, it's a phrase, right? It's a saying from the mouth of babes. Children often are bluntly honest about things. And this, honesty is essential, has fallen out on, has flew out of the deck and fallen on top of this Page of Swords energy. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, masculines. Honesty is what the feminine has been asking for this whole time. Like, she would much, much rather you be honest with her and just tell it like it is instead of play these fucking mind games. Oh, and then the hanged man is underneath the page of swords. So there's that change in perspective you're trying to come to. Cause you know, the, I do see the four of swords, which is here with the fool on the two of swords here, which is talking about um, that you have this new beginning that's about to start, this new cycle that's about to start, but you're still trying to collect yourself, you're still trying to rest and gain a little bit more of a new perspective in order to really embark on this successfully. I do see the Four of Swords as a minor arcana version of the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man is all about change in perspective. But you see here, you gotta be honest. Okay. <laughs> Let's close the reading now with the Crystal Mandala deck. All right, and this is just gonna be overall guidance for the collective in terms of this reading. So for both masculine and for feminine, okay? All right, for the collective, in terms of this reading here, spirit, 
best message to close out the reading for both masculine and feminine. Best message, please. There it is. Card, oh wow, okay. Card number 43. Goddess Matanji and Heliotrope. Already there is value. There we go. Okay. Already there is value. We bring you the empowerment to see that already there is value. It is natural for creative energy to become excited by new possibilities, new ideas, and new forms. It is also possible, however, for creative energy to become engaged in liberating the undiscovered value within that which already exists, polishing it until it shines with divine light. Sometimes there is a need to shed the past and all associated with it completely, starting afresh. However, at other times, there is something of value from the past that can, if allowed to bask in the light of your creativity, become very valuable for your future. In your enthusiasm to move forward in life, don't forget to take the value that already exists in your world along with you. This is a massive, massive message right now. First of all, first of all what was coming through for me um, as I was reading that was for those of you that are so adamant about not taking someone back, about not believing that someone can change, um, about beating the drum of who this person used to be, this is a message for you. Now, before you, before you jump down my throat, hear me out, okay? I'm not asking anybody to take someone back that would only continue to abuse them to be, only continue to be a narcissist. But, and also, you don't even have to take them back. But keep in mind that the more you beat the drum of what used to be, the more that is going to stay in reality, if that makes sense, all right? You have to believe, and now, this doesn't just mean for like one specific person. It can then be, zoom, you can then zoom out and see this as an overarching thing. All men are the same. All women are the same. This person, these, these type, this type of person is this type, is so and so, and this, that, that, blah, blah. No. No. We are infinitely creative, multidimensional beings. We can create whatever we want. Okay? So the more you beat the drum of division, the more division there will be. We need to stop doing that and start seeing each other as evolved start seeing each other in our highest light in our highest awakened form yes okay now i've forgotten <laughs> i've forgotten the other part about that hold on a second i just want to see here we go oh i was also talking about here I was talking about needing to leave the past behind in order to move forward. And that's what's happening here with Justice and the Seven of Cups, um, le working through the past because you can't take any sort of baggage into the new cycle. You just can't. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> all right guys i hope you all have a great weekend thank you so much for tuning in and um i'll see you on sunday for a twin flame reading the 14th sunday the 14th it's happening it's happening guys it's happening okay i love you guys so much and have a great weekend take care Mwah. bye